what is data structure explain different classification of data structures data and information data refers to value or simple set of values that are raw and unorganized so unorganized and raw values are known as data once data is processed that is organized structured and presented in a meaningful context so that it is useful for decision making and understanding it becomes information so once the data is processed it will become information so that it is useful for decision making and understanding for a particular context meaningful context data becomes information so there are set of data after processing the data it goes to information example students marks in a subject is data item suppose we have a set of students marks for a subject then we can say that that is a data item but from that particular marks if we are calculating the class average marks in that subject then it becomes information so we are doing some processing and performing the and finding out the class average marks in that subject then that becomes information data structure data structure is a way of storing data in computer's memory so that it can be used efficiently it is a logical or mathematical model of organization of data classification of data structures data structures are classified into three different categories the first one is linear versus non linear second static versus dynamic and third homogeneous versus non homogeneous data structure so there are three classification of data structures linear versus non linear static versus dynamic homogeneous versus non homogeneous data structures first one linear versus non linear data structure linear data structure elements in linear data structure form a linear sequence one after another either using sequential memory locations or by using pointers or memory address so in linear data structure there will be a linear sequence so we will be able to move from one to another so it is done either by using sequential memory locations where in which the data is stored one after another in memory or maybe the data is stored at different locations but they are joined together by using pointers so that it forms a linear sequence where in which we will be able to move from one to another from first to second and from second to third and so on so that is linear data structure example for linear data structures are array linked list queue and stack so it's an example for an array a static array we are declaring an array of integer type int a of 6 so when we declare int a of 6 there will be total six memory locations consecutive memory locations each one can be accessed with the array name a and the index the first element can be accessed with the index 0 a of 0 and the last element can be accessed with the index 5 a of 5 here in this array data structure each element can be accessed one after another from a of 0 we can go to a of 1 a of 1 to a of 2 so each element has a sequence one after another sequence so array is an example for linear data structure similarly another data structure stack is also a linear data structure here in which the elements are ordered in a particular fashion in stack data structure always the element is inserted and deleted from a pointer which is named as top so the last in stack the last element which we are inserting or adding that will be the first element to be removed 
So in this case, in stack, there are four elements, five, six, nine, and two. Two is the top element. Suppose we want to insert one more element, it goes to the fourth location and top will come to the fourth location. Here also the element is one after another, starting from the lowest five, six, nine till top two. The top is pointing to the top element in stack. So two examples, array and stack, both are example for linear data structure, wherein which it forms a linear sequence one after another, either using sequential memory locations or by using pointers. Second type of data structure, nonlinear data structure. Elements in nonlinear data structure do not form any linear sequence. So there is no linear sequence. The elements will be stored at random locations. They might be connected together in different forms, but there is no linear sequence like one after another. Example tree and graph. Tree and graph data structures are example for non-linear data structure. So this is an example for a tree. In tree, there will be a set of nodes and nodes will be connected together by using edges. Now these nodes and edges are related in the form of parent-child relationship. So we can say the first node one has two child two and three. The node two is having two child four and five. And node three is having one child which is six. So if there is a parent-child kind of relationships, then it becomes a tree data structure. So tree is an example for non-linear data structure because there is no specific order like from one to next. There are set of nodes and these nodes are connected together by using parent-child relationships. So it is an example for non-linear data structure. In tree data structure, there should not be a cycle that is possible in graph. So we will see an example for undirected graph. The graph can be either directed or undirected. So here a set of nodes are there, A, B, C, D, and E. They are nodes and they are connected by using edges. Now there is no directions for the edges in undirected graph. So that means if A is connected to B by using an edge, then B is connected back to A. One edge indicates a connection from first node to the second and from second to first back. So this is an example for undirected graph. So in graph data structure, a set of nodes are there and their relationships are connected, connections between these nodes. The relationship is done by using edges. So A is connected to B, B is connected to C and B is connected to D. So a set of nodes and some set of nodes are connected together by using edges. And in graph, compared to tree in graph, there can be closed path or cycle. So here in this undirected graph, we can see there are two cycles. One is B, C and D. Another one between C, D and E. So closed path can be possible in graph data structure. A graph can be directed graph also. So in directed graph for the edge, there can be an arrow. The arrow mark indicates the direction of relationship between one node to another. For example, here A is related to B by using an edge, but there is no path from B to A back. So edge indicates it is from A to B, but from B to A, it is not there. So this is an example for directed graph. Tree and graph data structures are example for non-linear data structure, where it's, it's not forming any linear sequence. Second category of Second classification of data structure, static versus dynamic. For static, we will see static data structures, memory occupation is fixed. That is, memory taken by static data structure cannot be increased or decreased at runtime. 
example is static array where size of static array is declared at compile time and cannot be changed during run time. So this is an example for a static array. It is declared as int a of six. So there are total six elements, which is access from a of zero to a of five. a of zero is the first and a of five is the last element. So it is the size of this particular array data structure a is fixed. So during the runtime, we cannot change the size of a from six to some other element. In static data structure, memory occupation is fixed. Memory taken by the static data structure cannot be increased or decreased at runtime. Next is dynamic data structure. Memory taken by dynamic data structure can be increased or decreased at runtime. Example for dynamic data structure is linked list. Size of linked list can be changed during runtime by adding nodes. Linked list, every element will be stored in node and during runtime, we can add more number of nodes. So this is an example for two-way linked list. In two-way linked list, every node will be connected in two directions, one to the forward by using next pointer, one to the backward by using previous pointer. And begin pointer will point to the first node. In this two-way linked list, there are four nodes. So in four nodes, four elements are stored, four data is stored. First node, the data is two. In second node, the data is 45. In third node, the data is three. And in the last node, the element is one. Suppose we want to store one more element in this linked list. We can create a new node and that node can be inserted at a particular place in between two, 45, three or one or maybe at the beginning or maybe at the last. So every time we want to store a new information in this linked list, a new node can be created and that can be inserted. So the size of this particular data structure, dynamic data structure can be increased or it can be decreased at runtime. So if you want to delete an element, a node can be removed from the chain. Or if I want to add a new element, then a new node can be inserted. So linked list is an example for dynamic data structure. Third classification is homogeneous versus non-homogeneous data structure. In homogeneous data structure, data of same type can be stored. Homogeneous data structure, only same type of data we can store. Example is array. In array, all element of array data structure must be of same type. Suppose we declare int a of five, then all element of the array a should be of integer type. If we declare float a of five, then all elements of a must be float data type. So homogeneous data structure is having same type of data and it's an example is array. In non-homogeneous data structure, data of different type can be stored. Example is linked list. In linked list node, we can store different type of data. In one node itself, we can store characters, we can store integer numbers, float values. So different type of value can be stored in linked list node. So linked list is an example for non-homogeneous data structure. Fourth is a combination of static and homogeneous and dynamic and non-homogeneous. Static and homogeneous, dynamic and non-homogeneous. The other data structures like stack, cube, tree and graph can be either static homogeneous or dynamic non-homogeneous. If it is static homogeneous, if it is implemented using array. It will be dynamic and non-homogeneous if it is implemented using linked list. So the data structures like stack, queue, tree and graph can be said as static and homogeneous if it is implemented using array. It can be said as dynamic and non-homogeneous if it is implemented using linked list. 
data type. Data care type can be defined as set of values and set of operations which are permissible on those values. So integer data type, float data type. So these data type indicates a set of values, the possible set of values and different operations that are possible on those values. There are two categories of data type. Primitive data type, abstract data type. Primitive data types. Primitive data types are predefined or basic data types in a programming language. So already existing data type or predefined or basic data types in a programming language is known as primitive data type. For example, in C language, primitive data type for storing integer values are int, long and short and for storing real values are float and double. Abstract data types. Abstract data type refers to set of values and set of operations performed on these values without considering the implementation details. So in abstract data type, there will be set of values and set of operations that can be performed on those values. But how the operation is performed, that implementation required for the operations are not important, that is not considered. Concept of class in C++ and Java is an abstract data type. For example, stack data structure is an abstract data type. We can say stack data structure is an abstract data type. If operations on stack like push and pop, push means adding a, an element into stack, pop means removing an element from the stack. That can be performed on stack without knowing the details of whether stack is implemented using array or linked list. So stack is an abstract data type. If you are able to perform the operations push and pop without knowing how it has been actually implemented, whether the stack is implemented by using array or linked list without knowing that if you are able to perform the operations on stack like push and pop, then it is an example for abstract data type.